Are you ready for the NBA Fantasy Playoffs? Here are the details you need to pay attention to for the 2023 NBA Fantasy Playoffs. There are tons of different playoff schedules. You have to check your settings. Most of us have three week playoffs, but others have four. It really just depends on the number of teams in your league. And also it depends if you have buys, how many teams make the playoffs. There's just so many factors that come into play. But the most important thing is make sure you check your league settings so you know when your playoffs are happening. And a quick disclaimer, we won't be covering every single playoff schedule because I don't know when every person is running their fantasy basketball playoffs. I will be covering ESPN standard, Yahoo standard default, and also some more popular and conventional playoff schedules. But first I wanna give you three important fantasy basketball playoff tips. Number one, people overvalue playoff schedules when it comes to NBA fantasy basketball. What do I mean? Some people would look at a team like the Miami Heat having, let's say, 12 games during their fantasy playoffs. So they say, oh my God, I'm going to draft my team, you know what I'm saying, around that information. So I know Jimmy Butler, I know Kyle Lowry, I know all, Bam Adebayo, all of these guys are going to be playing in my playoffs. Mm, but are they? We don't know if players are going to get injured. We don't know if players are going to get traded. So for us to be planning throughout the whole season based on what the schedule grid tells us, I think is a illogical way to approach the strategy. Number two, never let your fantasy basketball playoffs go right to the end of the season. I believe ESPN is the one that kind of sets their default settings like that. Whatever you do, make sure this year, if you're playing right to the end of the season, talk to your commissioner, correct this, it will improve and enhance your playing experience. And number three, use schedule grids. I like to use basketballmonster.com and hashtag basketball.com. By the way, I'm Robin Marks from Game Pick Fantasy Basketball. You can connect with me on Instagram, Twitter, and TikTok at Game Pick Podcast. If you love fantasy sports, please consider subscribing. Give this episode a like and hit the bell to turn on notifications so you don't miss any of these fantasy gems. We release new episodes every single week. So the first fantasy basketball schedule we want to take a look at is February 27th through March 9th. Now, the first thing we want to point out is the Miami Heat. They have 12 games lined up, y'all. So that's four games every single week of this playoff schedule. They also have three back-to-backs. So what does that mean? Does that mean you want to go make trades to try to grab Kyle Lowry or Jimmy Butler, Bam Adebayo? Nine times out of 10, a player like Jimmy Butler is going to rest. A player like Kyle Lowry, who's been banged up all season, he might be resting. So I think that that's something to consider. Those might be players you want to move on from right now while you can still get some value for them. It is worth noting that I believe Bam Adebayo will have tons of value in this playoff series. He doesn't, or in this playoff schedule, he doesn't strike me as the kind of player that's going to be resting back to backs. And I think Tyler Hero could also be a solid play. Keep your eyes open for people like Gabe Vincent as well. You never know he might slide into that uh, Kyle Lowry uh, role if you know Kyle Lowry is resting we also want to take a look at Utah for this playoff schedule they only have eight games but check this out they have zero back-to-backs so a player like let's say Laurie Markkinen, who went off an all-star game, by the way, like was catching all kinds of dunks. He had a great uh, all-star weekend. I would say that his value, his eight games might be worth more than the 12 games that we think Jimmy Butler might be playing. Because honestly, I don't think Jimmy's going to be playing all of those 12 games. But I do think Laurie Markkinen, especially with zero back-to-backs, will be playing all eight games. So what do you want? You want some Jimmy Butler, or do you want all of Lori marketing is your choice. Another thing you want to pay attention to are the number of teams who only play two games in a week. So for week one, Cleveland and Denver both play two games. Week two, Chicago, the Clippers, Minnesota, Phoenix, and the Spurs, two games. And then for week three of this fantasy basketball schedule, Charlotte, the Knicks, and Utah only play two 
two games. And I know throughout the whole season, we've been talking about low quality games, high quality games, and how all games aren't created equal. One thing you want to be mindful of in the fantasy playoffs, what kind of games are your players playing? Are they playing quality games? Or are they play high quality games or low quality games? And I think for Philly, they have 11 out of 11 high quality games. So if in fact, you can grab some of those Philadelphia 76er players, or maybe flip your Jimmy Butler's into a Joel Embiid or James Harden, that could be a good look for you. Another thing to be mindful of for this playoff schedule is that the Clippers have nine games. They're doing a 4-2-3 with two back-to-backs. What does that mean? Kawhi Leonard, I guarantee you, will be resting. Like you guys know, I've been on the hilltops all season. Stay away from Kawhi Leonard. Preseason draft, stay away from Kawhi Leonard. This is your last chance. If you could trade away Kawhi Leonard now, if you have this playoff schedule, this would be the move because I guarantee you that he will not be playing all of those games, especially during those back-to-backs. And Orlando has a 4-3-4 schedule and they have one back-to-back. So be mindful of that as well. I'm super excited to talk about our newest fantasy sports partner, Underdog Fantasy. Underdog is the best place to play fantasy sports, including best ball, daily drafts, and pick them. Start drafting in minutes for a shot at big cash and an enhanced game watching experience. Did I mention that Kevin Durant and Mark Cuban invested in Underdog? Once I heard about those cosigns, I had to spread the news. Sign up today and use the promo code GAMEPICK and Underdog will match your first deposit up to $100. It's like getting free money. Don't miss out on your chance to double up from the jump. To sign up, just download the Underdog Fantasy app on Android or iOS, and don't forget, use the promo code GAMEPICK. The next schedule we wanna take a look at is March 6th through March 26th. First up, Golden State Warriors, Memphis Grizzlies, Houston Rockets all have 11 games with one back-to-back. -back. So some of those players like John Morant, um, Steph Curry when he's healthy, I think that we might get some resting at this point of the season, especially for John Morant, because they want to get him ready for the playoffs. And you know that Memphis has been performing in the Western Conference, so they're not struggling to secure a playoff spot. Um, for Houston, I think the Young Bucks might continue to play. They got a bunch of young players, and they're, not, they're just playing to develop their uh, core. So I think that they'll be okay. And back to the LA Clippers. They have a two, three, four with one back to back. When I tell you, trade away Kawhi Leonard if you still can. I would even consider doing the same thing for Paul George. Now let's talk about those poor teams who only have two games. We have in week one, Chicago, the Clippers, Minnesota, Phoenix, and the Spurs. Week two, we have Charlotte, New York, Utah, and week three, Detroit, Denver, and Miami, all playing just two games. And again, all games are not created equal. Cleveland has 10 out of 10 high quality games. Brooklyn has 11 out of 11 high quality games. And then we have Atlanta, Philly, Milwaukee, OKC, Sacramento with 11 games with three back to backs. So we want to be really careful with those teams because people like Embiid, even Harden at this point in the season, when we're talking about, you know, uh, March 26th, chances are guys are going to get rested on those back to back so for those teams you really want to be careful about those stars that you have and then on the flip side of that when you think about role players they might get elevated into important roles down the stretch of your playoffs so players like d'anthony melton might be able to help you to secure some wins so be very very mindful of that next up we're going to talk about the yahoo default playoff schedule which is march 13th to April 2nd. First up, let's talk about those teams with tons of games. Memphis, Houston, and Sacramento all have 12 games. They're playing four games a week throughout that whole playoffs. On the other side of that coin, we got the Miami Heat. Again, look, four, two, and three with two back-to-backs. Guys, stay away from Heat players if you are in Yahoo default playoff schedules. Please do yourself a favor and trade them away if your trade deadline has not passed. Next up, let's talk about those teams that have those pitiful 
two game schedules. For week one, we got Charlotte, the Knicks, and the Utah Jazz. Week two, we have Detroit, Denver, and Miami, all playing just two games. And week three, we have no teams playing two games, which is good. All games are not created equal. The Pelicans have 10 out of 10 high quality games. Try to get yourself some Brandon Ingram, maybe even some CJ McCollum. And there's no one else with more than eight quality games during the Yahoo default playoff schedule. Next up is ESPN default playoff schedule, March 20th to April 9th. If this is in fact your schedule, sorry, I feel sorry for you, but also make sure you tell your commissioner next season that you guys wanna have a change. Like you can't do it again every year, just kind of doing it this way. So I'll do my best to help you out. For the Memphis Grizzlies, Chicago, Utah, Sacramento, and Philly, they are all playing 12 games, four, four, and four. Miami, ugh. Two, three, and four with two back-to-backs. Stay away from Jimmy Butler, y'all. Um, also, for those teams that are playing two games, week one, Detroit, Denver, and Miami all playing two games. And for week two and week three, no one is playing two games. Um, again, quality games. The New Orleans Pelicans are playing eight out of 11 high-quality games. There's no one with more than eight quality games. Uh, Memphis, Philly, Chicago have four out of 12 quality games. If you need help with your team, drop a comment with your question. I will answer every single comment for this episode. And don't forget, play the waivers, set your lineups, and follow Game Pick, your freaking fantasy nerd.